Hello boys and girls. Uh, once again I'm teacher Regan. Uh, welcome to Easy Elim where learning is simplified. Uh, in our today's session we are going to discuss composite numbers. This is another group of numbers that we are yet to discuss. Remember in our previous sessions we talked about uh, natural numbers and I told you that natural numbers is actually a canopy under which we have prime numbers, odd numbers and even numbers. In addition to all that, I also told you that we have other several groups of numbers that you will discuss as you continue uh, learning mathematics. So at this juncture, we are only going to discuss the composite numbers. So under introduction, we shall simply give the definition or rather the meaning of what composite numbers are, look at the examples and how to prove that a number is composite. Are we together? Uh, good. So under introduction, we are going to write the definition, the definition of what a composite number is. So, a number x is said to be a composite number if it has more than the keyword is more than two in brackets two factors and or devices so if a number x has more than two factors and all devices then we say that that is a composite number remember our definition of a prime number what did we say is a prime number? Yes, Paul? Correct. We say that a prime number is a number with only two devices or factors. And the two factors should be the number itself and one. So with respect to composite uh, numbers, it's a number with more than two devices, more than two factors. For, ex for example, you can talk of a number like... Um, uh, let us look at a number like um, 12. 12. Let us uh, highlight all the possible factors of 12. All the possible factors of 12. So here, you are going to identify the least number that can go into 12. So in the first instance, we have 12 times 1 to get 12. It means that the first factor of 12 is 1. Are we together? Good. So, 12 can also be the same as uh, 6 times 2 also gives us 12. Here we have two factors of 12, which is 6 and 2. These are factors of 12. 12 can also be the same as 4 times 3. That also gives us 12. Any other expression that can give us a product of 12? So in other words, factors are all those numbers, or rather devices, are all those numbers that when multiplied by another can give us a product of 12. Or devices are all those numbers that can divide 12 completely without a remainder. So when you are told to list all the possible factors of 12, then we shall have uh, all the possible factors of 12, we shall have 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 itself. So how many factors do we have? So say 12 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 factors. Hence, it is a composite number. Let us look at another example. Part B, list all the possible factors of, uh, say, you can have nine, all the possible factors of nine. So solution, solution, 
then you decide whether it's a composite number or not. So solution, we can have 1 times 9 will also give us that. We can also have 3 times 3 can also give us 9. Such that, such that, such that the factors of 9 will be equal to 1, 3, and 9 itself. So since 9 has more than more than two factors it is a composite composite the composite number so long as the number of factors or devices of that particular number exceeds two then that particular number is a composite number but if we only have two devices then that is a prime number are we communicating good so the concept of expressing various composite numbers as a product of its prime factors can also be tested under this uh, topic whereby we already know that um, for example for example For example, you can be asked to express, for example, you can be asked to express 48 as a product of its prime factors. So solution. So here you identify the first prime number that can go into 48. You can use the factor 3. Uh, you can have uh, 48. Then we use the factor 3. So the first prime number that can go into 48 is 2. The keyword here is prime. So that implies all the numbers that are going to appear on this other side of the factor 3 must be prime numbers. And all the numbers that are going to appear on the other side of our factor trees are the factors generally they are the factors of 48 so that is 24 so this pair gives us the first factors of 28 then we have 2 12 we have the third factor of 28 so 1 2 3 we have 2 6 1 2 3 4 we have another one 2, 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the fifth factor. There. And you don't count a number twice. If you add 2 here, you cannot count 1, 2, 3. These are just, I've said, remember I've said that the numbers that are going to appear on this other side of our factor trees are the prime factors of 40. Eight. And for example, looking at this side, you can see that a, a factor is written repeatedly, repeatedly. So you cannot count it more than one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, then six. So 48 as a product of its prime factors. 48 as a product of its prime factors. as a product of its prime factors will be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. This one I say last time can be written into the index form. You have 2, then the exponent becomes the number of times you have that particular digit there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2 raised to power 4 times 3. So that is 48 as a product of its prime factors and you down there you can say 48 since 48 has more than two 
factors, more than two factors, i.e., that is 2, 24. Let me start with the list all the way to the 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 6, uh, 12, 24, and 48 itself. Since 48 has more than two factors, that is that it is a composite number. So 48 is a composite number because it has got one more, more than one more than two uh, divisors. So questions, questions. Group the following numbers as Roman one. Roman 1, prime numbers, prime numbers, Roman 2, uh, composite numbers, Roman 3, natural numbers. So we have the list of the numbers down here, 39. 4, 19, 2, 120, 36. So list them as either prime numbers, composite numbers, and natural numbers. Kindly do that and many more example questions that you can come across during your individual revision. Otherwise, thank you for your time. See you next time.